What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Richichi's Revelations. I haven't posted a video in about 10 months. Kind of took like a break, I guess you can say. You can tell by my beard and really long hair now. Um, so, I haven't told you guys this, but I'm doing like a 3D printing business or a little side hobby or side hustle you can call. And uh, before my videos would be about astronomy and space and things like that now I'm kind of gonna veer off course and start making videos about 3d printing and hopefully it doesn't confuse some people or most people so we're gonna do that instead this is my 3d printer the Tivo tornado the brown version or copper and this is my studio still working on it as you can see um, I was making videos in my room but then I realized you know when you're melting plastic kind of releases a lot of toxic fumes so I didn't want that to be in my room where I sleep and uh, hang out so I moved down here in my basement I'm gonna make a video of a before and after so I was working on my 3D printer a couple of weeks ago and I accidentally broke the fan. I don't know, I was making funny noises, got some pliers, try to use brute force and you know it's it's thin plastic so it just snapped on me. So I ordered a brand new fan. Um NF A4 x 10 by Nor Nocturna designed in Austria pretty cool um, you know I read a lot of reviews this fan is really cool I saw a lot of YouTube videos and they have these fans on their printer so I'm gonna do a little unboxing of this let's get to it all right let's get started Every time I am open up new boxes or anything like that, I personally like to put on gloves because of the oils on my skin. I just don't want that to get everywhere. So these are my cool neon green gloves. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is uh, really interesting. See the fans? I'm not exactly sure what these four things are, but little description on how it works I'm sorry you can't see that because of the glare let's see if I could focus in focus out a little bit all right so this comes with an extension cable a low noise adapter three to two pin adapter that's actually very important because I don't know if you can see. But on the T-Bolt Tornado, the fan only has two wiring. So that's actually gonna come in come in handy actually. Alright. Oh so yeah, uh, three to two pin adapter on the meek join cable. I'm not exactly sure what that is. NT vibration mounts. Oh okay, so that's what these are. Oh that's cool. Might use that. Hmm. And some screws. Alright. Let's try it out. Awesome. I really like the design of this box. Look how they got the it's almost like a book. Oh, on both sides too. Nice. Not exactly sure what this is. I'm um, guessing like this is all um, what they're known for. Award winning. Awesome. Alright. Let's see what this thing is. Manual book. That's part of the point. Let's put this on the side. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice. So the one that I got 
they come in all different sizes. But uh, I'm gonna use my caliper here, just to make sure it's the right size. Yep. And this is, well, I'm moving it a lot, so, but it's, it's 40, 40 millimeters, so that's perfect. My stock one was 40, so. Alright, let's see. Yeah, see? They do have uh, three prongs here. Let's see if I could just focus that. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the three wiring. I'm assuming that's like the ground. These are only two. So. There's no way, but it did say it come with an adapter, so let's check that out real quick. Alright. So we have an extension cord. That's pretty nice. That probably come in handy. The three to two pin adapter. Alright, so I'm gonna put that one on the side. And what's this? Low noise adapter. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but Oh, these are the Omni joint cables. Oh, okay. So, I'm assuming you would plug this in here. Bada beam, bada boom. Which converts it to a two prong. And here, connect this. Huh, oh, okay. It's a little weird fit. Kinda fits snug, I guess. Cool, all right. Uh, I kinda wanna test this out first before I install it to the printer. I'm going to turn on my extruder cause the fan automatically turns on. There goes that. All right. Let's see if this works. Connect the red and black with black. Oh, look at that. Let me just try to make it a better fit. Oh man, it's so quiet. Jesus, my other one, the stocked one was so noisy. Because sometimes here from the bathroom and my bathroom is right next door. Yeah, gross, just killed a fly on my hand. Ouch, and I just touched that hot end. All right, I'm gonna turn off my fan, my extruder. Whoa, check that out. It's so quiet, oh my God, that's perfect. Awesome. I'm really glad that worked. So, now we know what to install and all you have to do is pretty much just use electrical tape, connect this to the black and this to the red. Uh, I guess we'll put this away. Here are some screws I'm assuming for the fan, but I kind of want to use these little very squishy rubbery. Awesome, so let's put this away. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna put the screws on the side cause just in case this doesn't really fit into my printer, I'll just screw it on. Sweet. Put that on the side. All right, so I guess first things first, this is might be an issue though, because this is a lot of wiring. Cross that bridge when we get there. Give me a second here, guys. I'm gonna have to cut more of the wiring if I can have more exposure of the actual wires. So where is my wire cutters? Oh, here it is, my razor blade. 
I could use wire cutters, but I don't feel like looking for them right now. <laughs> these work just as fine. I can use these actually. Just focus them. Yeah. And I guess you just press on them. That's awesome. Wow. Sorry about that, I had to cut the video short because <laughs> installing these were a pain in the ass. It took me like 20 minutes. Don't ask me how. So, as you can see, as you can see, they're connected uh, fairly well. And the fan is working perfectly. Yep. Ooh. And I just melted the wires a little bit. Look at that. It's so quiet. I love it. I love it. This is awesome. Um yeah, so now it's time to put everything together. Here's the cap. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Oh damn! I was forgetting about the wires are getting burned on the hot end. But yeah, just like that, All right? I'm gonna put this back together, and I'm gonna show you the uh, the end result. All right, this is how it looks like when it's all done and installed. I ended up using these and it kind of worked out. Kind of looks funny actually. Alright, and now let's try it out. Just gotta give it a second. I'll figure out later how to hide all these wiring. But just holding it with the zip tie. Looking good, sounds good. Well, I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and give me a like and leave a comment below. Till next time.